what we're doing with the second generation Armada. So where does it come from? So our first generation Armada was based on the Nissan Titan, the second generation on the Nissan Patrol. So where is Patrol? In 1951, we launched our first Patrol to become a global workhouse, and it was the 4W60 series. Second generation was nine years later, and then third generation in 1980. And that's really where we got into the uh, Paris Dakar competition and really got its um, nameplate for being an off-road capable truck. 52 years later is when we introduced our first generation Armada. As I mentioned, it was based off of the Nissan Titan platform. We, we did a major change in 2008 where we uh, no longer had common styling with the Titan and then we have an all new front end and interior. Earlier this year in February, we introduced to you the second generation Nissan Titan at the Chicago Auto Show. So with the second generation of bringing in our uh, regional needs for Armada, with the global needs of the patrol, we're able to really promise the customer where that person will be able to go anywhere in confidence and style. And I'm going to explain to you some focus areas on how we actually execute that. First, premium styling. All new, refined exterior styling, it's bold and it's aggressive. We've introduced our new V-Motion front grille that is a common Nissan design theme. It's a functional rear our fender vent. It's on the front fender with standard LED headlamps, tail lamps, and our signature style headlamp, daytime red lamp. All new interior. It's a combination of style, roominess, and premiumness. Best in class second row headroom and knee room. Standard eight passenger seating with optional captain's seats in the second row, with buckets, front seats, and with the center console. Now, the powertrain. We have our new 5.6 liter endurance V8 that we share with the Nissan Titan across the hall. It has Nissan's advanced V-Valve and DIG. Best in class horsepower at 390 horsepower with 394 uh, foot-pounds of torque. It's tuned specifically for regular fuel, so it will uh, um, be able to provide optimal acceleration and improved fuel economy from our current generation title. It has a new seven-speed automatic transmission and it has an ATF warmer. So going from our previous Armada uh, powertrain to our new powertrain and for 2017, we're actually leading to increased power and torque. So hopefully on your drive later this morning, you'll be able to experience the uh, uh, maximum horsepower and be able to really see that off, uh, off the line acceleration. With our new seven speed automatic transmission, with a wider gear range, we're actually able to provide good acceleration in first gear from going from a 3.8 to a 4.9, and then a quiet cruising speed with the seventh gear going to a 0.78. Towing performance, we have best-in-class towing for standard uh, standard towing capacity for both four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive above the competition. At 8,500 pounds, uh, our best competition is the Sequoia 74. Now, interior. This is uh, the all-new power, the all-new st styling shows our presence. The all-new powertrain gets us to where we want to go, but really the creature comforts on the inside. Front bucket seats with the center console with power lumbar, six-way power driver and passenger seats, standard, and standard heated front seats. We have a heated steering wheel, and maybe on days like today, <laughs> that would be ideal because it's kind of chilly out there. And uh, the second row full flat 60-40 split bench seat with the optional captain's chairs with a removable center console. So if mom can go right into the third row if she needs. And then uh, the third row will split with power available on our upper trims. As I mentioned earlier, we have best-in-class second row headroom and knee room, giving those rear occupants the optimal ability to uh, be comfortable. Adults will fit easily in that second row, very comfortably. We also have a library level quietness for the interior with laminated acoustic glass on the front uh, driver's windows and the windshield. It actually um, decreases our previous Armada to our new Armada the under library level. So hopefully you'll be able to experience a very easy conversation with your passenger while you drive later today. Also available is standard Bose audio system. 
and standard navigation. You will get that on every Nissan Armada. And family entertainment system is available. It's a two inch, two seven inch screens independent um, with independent capabilities. Now with all of that, the enhanced ride and handling, this is where we really get into the patrol heritage with a fully boxed all steel frame from our previous generation, double wishbone front and rear suspension with stabilizer bars, auto leveling rear suspension, uh, twin tube shock absorbers, and then uh, engine speed sensing power assist rack and pinion steering, and then four wheel disc brakes. Here's a shot of our new frame. It actually shows from a 60 millimeter uh, frame width to 100 millimeters, really giving it that more capable on-road feel and more capable off-road um, capabilities. Now that's how we're going to be on-road off-road, we're going to be safe and secure, but how are we actually going to be able to make sure that our occupants are secure? And this is really where it gets into the full-size SUV. As Phil mentioned, these customers want to make sure that their families are safe, their families are secure, and also that they are able to um, know what's going on around them. So we're applying our all-around safe Nissan safety shield package. Uh, not only will you be able to detect what's on the front of you, the side of you, just to the rear view, but you'll also, in reverse, be able to uh, mitigate concerns back there. Forward and rich emergency braking, predictive forward and collision warning will be available. Um, intelligent cruise control with distant control assist, also available. And then on the side, the flight departure warning will actually like, bring you back to the center of the lane. Blind spot warning and intervention will actually bring you back to the center of the lane. And then backup collision intervention. So when you're in reverse, you can actually stop, the vehicle will stop and not run into an object back there. Yes, standard or optional? It's, it'll be optional. Uh, a round view monitor with motion object detection is also available. Hopefully some of these uh, safety suite features you will not recognize on your drive this morning, <laughs> but they will be on the vehicles. Other driving aids, as I mentioned, round view monitor with motion object detection is 360 degrees of view from, from a bird's eye view, and it's on low speeds. It's ideal for navigating through small spaces through urban environments. Front and rear sonar also available and blind spot warning. I'm almost done. <laughs> so we're going to offer this in uh, three trims with four packages. Very simple and easy to understand. Uh, SV two wheel drive, four wheel drive will be the beginning and we will have the driver package which we offer a few uh, creature comforts such as auto dimming interior mirror, fog lamps, um, and trailer to harness and pre-wire. On SL, uh, we uh, offer a moonroof package and also a technology package. This technology package is where we start to introduce some of the safety shield technologies. And then platinum is where everything would be included, all the safety shield technologies as well. And that's where we can have the optional captain's chairs in the second row. And all of this is starting at 44400 Um this will go on sale a little bit later this uh, next month. And also, the snitch handling is 9 <laughs>